That'd be dope. Yeah, and Bob, I'm wondering what you think the the fallout should be, and, and specifically in terms of like, do you think I should angle it where like this has been an attack on the world summit? Some of the leaders that, because like I said, Klaus will make it known what he's trying to talk about. Yeah. So do you think I should have it where you know some of these world leaders are like, oh shit, he was right? Should I have people think that it was a freak accident? Should I should I have an address and start seeding misinformation? across the planet to... I think you should do uh, all of the above. We could bring the arm around. Oh, shit, okay. Because there was, there was this uh, Mawa, I think it was Mawa, I was reading, where uh, there there was actually, it, it wasn't a, it, I guess you could you could say it was a summit. It, it was a world summit, but the world summit only had like six countries because yeah. the world got wrecked a couple times already. <clears throat> yes. Anyways, at this summit, uh, they got attacked. The city got attacked. And everyone was like, hey, let's stay together and go this way. And then this one dude was like, still works. you guys are beneath me, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to go my own way with my own answer, uh, entourage. He got got. No one knew he got got. And then someone basically stole his face and has been masquerading around as him and has been running the country and no one has realized it. Oh, it's not slowing down. And he's basically been feeding intel to do? the good guys because the good guys are, still believe That's that he's the original order. king. What about an emergency? Right. And he's well, basically been just feeding intel to the good guys, and he's been like just doing mad crazy stuff. He's been uh, pulling the good guys on the his side and turn them into like uh, monsters and stuff, like crazy stuff. Yeah. Where I am in the story, they haven't figured it out yet. I don't know uh, when they're going to. But they're definitely gonna figure it out at some point. It, they should, because there is some time travel shenanigans. So uh, one of the characters might notice some stuff, but I think that happened because of his time travel, or at least he wasn't aware of it. Oh, uh, have him do hijack. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to see if I can solid stake my way through this. Okay. Which one of these is hijack? That's stem, that's mine. I think that was hijack. All right, so I'm gonna have the hijack thing on ready just in case. Gotcha. All right, um, I'm gonna shoot a, actually no, never mind. I was gonna send a pulse out. I don't think we need it yet. I saw two more. the lever. Pull them oh, you need a hand? Yes. Okay. Come through. Yeah, because I'm sitting there, I'm trying to, th I've been thinking so much about, like, ah, yes, I'm going to kill all the world leaders, and I'm like, what's the political fallout going to be? Exactly. Is that a flamethrower? Maybe we gotta freeze it. Ooh, you know what that makes sense. Also, I think I'm gonna hit myself. Alright. But yeah, we'll definitely definitely need to figure out the, the political fallout because like the entire like Segments of nations are going to be in shambles. Oh, not. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, I moved earlier. Incoming I was trying to see if I could freeze it, but uh, at the end, I can't. Welcome to the 
Somebody just got me. You dead? No, uh, they picked me back up. Come on. Have you ever been punched? Stop dodging so I can kill you. Watch out! It's speeding up! Oh shit! Oh, come on. You gotta say it, make sure you get down. That works. What? That that works. No. Well, I worked out, didn't it? Maybe. Yeah, we need Jack to verify the beacons are okay. Come on. There's ammo up. Yeah. I need lots of claw ammo. There's a monster over here if you want it. All right. I'm gonna go around the inner circle, then the outer circle. Let's go over here. I'm standing on claw ammo. On my way. The claw. I'll keep the mark on. Like those beacons are wrecked. Actually, I don't even want to finish that sentence. Uh, we could have been setting them on fire. Do we have? Oh, because there's a bunch of the red pipes. I think those are the uh, combustible ones. Oh, okay. That came through the recording. Come on then. If it's bad news, we should at least verify it. <sighs> I want respawn to stop messing around and drop the sequel to Jedi Survivor. Soka Tono game. Honestly, I would, I would take an Ahsoka Tano game in the vein of Jedi Survivor. Like if they took Jedi Survivor and just reskinned it for Ahsoka, 
and then I gave her her own unique storyline. I I play that. This looks like the uh, Saiyan ball that the Saiyans land in when they come to Earth. Just saying. Oh, the pod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. But uh, but I want I want the sequel to Jedi Survivor because like the Jedi Fallen Order was pretty good. I enjoyed it a lot. Survivor took it to the next level. Like I, by the time I was done with Survivor, I was like, God damn, this is a fucking amazing game. Jack, run a diagnostic <laughs> check on these beacons. Jack, need some light in here. Cool. Oh, thank God. Paddock, there. I found five components. Wait, hold on. I found more components. Oh. Oh, hush. You guys are able to lift like 16 tons as regular people. I don't hear it. You know, if Paddock sent a folks, these are the, uh, we should probably clear out the pre covenant. He's lost some enough people. Uh, Spartans. <laughs> yeah, sorry, guys. I'm not going to be much use in a firefight at the moment. Stay close to me, mate. First, they got swole. Then the covenant showed up. Then they, the start, uh, Spartan program started. Okay, let's go. You want the demo? Yeah, um, I think I'm okay. If you need it. Take it. No, no, I don't need it. <laughs> And uh, I will help myself. Well, storm's no better. If anything, it's worse. Too bad. We're going back into it. Okay, Delta. Our way out's on the other side. You know, if this was like a movie or a video game, or this is a video game, you know, if this is a movie or a TV show, they would actually, uh, they would actually find cover from this from a storm this bad, and it would be used to help all the teams kind of do to each other. I wonder. Hey, air at all? What is that guy? I was curious if I could shoot the Ooh. blades off and have them do something, but nothing happened. But you know they would air out all the dirty laundry, and everyone would... You gotta deal with those turrets! You know. Yeah, it'd be hilarious. Follow the hilarious. It'd be hilarious, and then... I, I thought someone was coming in the house. I'm like, who dares enter my abode? Unannounced. Guys, come on! That turret's ripping us up! What turret? Bro, your you head is right in the way. Yeah, thank you. Uh. JD, are you trying to get What? I'm still trying to figure out what. Oh, I see what turret he's talking about. Uh. Huh? Where am I being shot from? I need help here. Oh, damn. Oh, you're far out. Does, yeah. Uh, does he have you? Jack? No. Oh, it's Frost does, apparently. Doesn't look like there's anyone else there. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm saying I'm like, what are you talking about? There's no one on the turret. Now, now know. they're on the turret. They won't be for long. Yeah, because they just got me. On my way! Ooh. Ooh. Is that a drop shot? Oh, it's a shield. Take the claw. Take it. I got picked back up. Alright, it's gonna be 
This is gonna be a defense segment. Uh, your uh, your your marks are over here. I just found some ammo right here to put mark on. There's regular ammo back there. I just picked up some regular ammo. Okay. Lancer got the mark on. It's actually funny, I haven't played Destiny in so long, it took me a while to get back into the controls. Now hopping into this, right. I'll go back to Destiny, I'm going to be using these controls again. No, that's nice. <laughs> Alright, so I'm ready whenever you are. Alright. Oh, shit! The door's welded shut! Jack, rip the door and hurry! Just gonna go ahead and get rid of these trees so that Run way everyone's out here in the open field. Watch out for the... Yeah. Gotta get off. Yeah, you... Yeah, that one's got grenades. Careful. You know who I also think would actually make a really good male Commander Shepard? Uh, oh shit, we got we got someone coming up from the side. Which side, mine or yours? Mine. Okay, um, I'm gonna take out this last shippy thing. There we go. Get rid of that. If you need to let me know. Ooh. Uh, I'm a fire, uh, oh, good. Use it. I gotta, I gotta protect the side real quick. Yep. Oh, uh, the dance, the dance, the dance, you're me. Uh, I think, her, I think Henry Cavill can also make a good Commander Shepard. Yeah. You know what would actually be kind of funny? Wouldn't happen, but it would be kind of funny. If they did a Paragon version of <clears throat> a Paragon and a, uh, the other one. Can I remember the name of the other one? And they did one of Renegade. each. And they had uh, Harry Cavill as one and Chris Evans as the other. That'd be hilarious. Mm -hmm. Real question is who would be what? Well, typically, size is considered more imposing. So I feel like uh, Cavill would be. Well, you said it's called Renegade. I don't know why this was called. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I think Cavill would be Renegade, and uh, Evans would be uh, Paragon. Fair. Just because typically you think, oh no, that really big person is probably going to scare someone. Now, Chris, Chris Evans is not a small individual. Like, Chris Evans is like two of me. Okay, skip's not much farther. Yeah, easy for you to say. But Henry Cavill's a bigger oh. individual. <laughs> yes. That's the important part. Kind of relying on you to keep it safe. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Better the world. Hear that? Storm's died down. Yeah, now that we're through it. Come on, let's check on the skiff. Oh, this gift doesn't exist anymore. So, question for you. Do you want to play until we basically complete this act? Foss, Del. Um, we doesn't matter to me. Side. Are you working tomorrow? I am, but I also... 8? 
Yeah, uh, yeah. Plus, I am. I don't go until nine thirty, so I have time. Okay. No, um, we, can, we can just yeah, keep going. I, I, I was, I was gonna say we could. What is the dog barking at? I'm gonna say if you want, we could keep going just with this, or if we could potentially do a little multiplayer of Halo Infinite. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter to me. I know we really need to get through this though, just in general. Oh, you know, you're right, correct. You as are, much as we both want to play Halo, because Halo is that game, we I still gotta, you know, get this one. <laughs> gotta edit it. Gotta make the other thumbnails for everything. So, because I've been procrastinating on that really hard. Well, it doesn't help that like there's no, there's not a lot of good media for the thumbnails for you to use. Like, I don't know, like, Halo had so many pictures that were, like, all, like, burying. Because Gears has a lot of pictures, too. But it was, like, Gears 1, 2, and 3 had, like, a ton of, like, ton of content, ton of media. 4 and 5, it just it doesn't have the same amount. We're doing all five right. Fortunately, it doesn't happen, though. So there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. So why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the COG border? Vascari technology, my friend. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities, and said, oh, hello, we'll take that. Piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. You're not wrong. Everything that man said was facts. So I paddocks no man's up to the task of hauling back the rest of those beacons. Ooh. And I was wondering the same thing. Yeah. I just thought of something evil for uh, for your campaign. But I can't speak on it because it hasn't happened yet. I doubt any of my people are gonna. Okay, well you know how you were gonna have that uh, that demon portal. And the, yes. Uh, was the portal? Is that someone opened the portal in the kingdom? Uh, no, it would have been uh, Anadrasus that. Whoa, I just got hit with a crazy low screen. Yeah, me too. This is not, you know, 2007 game. Don't do that again. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, Anna Dross is going to be one to rip up the portals. Okay. Alright, uh, what was your idea? Oh, I was just thinking of... Uh... If one of the demon portals, or like whatever they need to like close a portal, was in a place where it's like you can you can destroy that thing and close the portal, but doing that is gonna unleash something else that I have nothing to do with. Good luck with that. <laughs> like like just just for example, imagine if the uh, imagine if like for whatever reason there was a Tarask seal somewhere. Yeah. And the thing that they have to do to stop the portal breaks the barrier that's sealing the Tarrasque kind of thing. So, like, you stop my portal, now you gotta deal with that thing. I would, pro I would probably do that, but I would probably let that be, like, a level 20, like, after adventure. Mm. Like, they defeat the campaign, and then they didn't know so that doing again. that undid uh, undid something else and so it's like all right the heroes have you know gone their separate ways and they all come back together to save the world from a new threat one last time avengers assemble <laughs> all right where are we headed right. next right uh we need we need to be like over there let's get that thing to bear Lead the way. Oh, hey. Okay. Look at that. Okay. In back, he was explaining to me the new modification he made for your little bot frame. It was boring, so I came out here. We should probably unload this targeting beacon ASAP. <laughs> and you think that's going to save the world? 
Baird, we're here with the beacon. Excellent. I'll meet you around back. Wait, your Baird's going back to New Ophira with the beacon. How are we getting back? Well, if there's a raven about, I can fly something. Nope, not right oh. that way. Did you crash your basic training? Run. Oh, I had a slight mishap. Yeah. Otherwise known as a crash. Uh, I love the fact that Oscar got that early in this game. It's beautiful. Gladly. I mean, he did cut his way out of a uh, snatcher. Something that your boy, Mr. Phoenix, could not do. Just saying. You know, <laughs> Mr. Phoenix also. Hey, Mr. Phoenix also survived yeah. <laughs> this game. So. <laughs> With oodles of health. Yeah, right. Of course. They, they had to use plot armor. They had to use plot to get Oscar. I'm just saying. I'm just working through it. We can talk later. <laughs> ah. I appreciate that. E. That man Oscar needed to go. It was annoying. <laughs> and a little bitch. Yeah. Uh, a new and improved shield prototype for Jack. Go ahead. Install it. Upgrades. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. That we're probably going to forget about. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, you said earlier, we don't use Jack for shit. The module, please. Anytime now. Oh. That could be very useful. Yeah, it can. Holy shit. Um, I'm not going to equip it, but I'm going to check for you upgrades. Because we have module, a whole lot of, uh, of stuff. Increases duration. <gasps> it can reflect bullets. Mmm. And increase the size of it. Ooh. We got 60. We could do all of those and still have like half the our module, points left over. Please, anytime now. That's not bad at all. Especially in those defense missions or de defense stuff too. Oh, disgusting. You guys want to install that module? I got a plane to catch. All right. So I'm gonna equip it to him so that he'll stop whining. But, um, yeah, you want to upgrade it? We got 60. Uh, yeah. It'll, It'll cost, go. what, 15, 12, 27. The module, 26 please. or 36. Anytime now. Yeah, we'll have leftovers. Yeah, go. Go for it. All right, so he's got a big barrier that increased the duration and reflects bullets. Now he's got to remember to utilize it. Installed. Tell us about it. It's actually very interesting. First, it creates an ionized vector. Oh, he's got hit with the pause. This, this is a crazy ass headline. Delta, come on! Who are we fighting? I think we got a reposition instead of a barrier. On the very first test, too. Wait, you never tested it? How did the swing even get here? Ooh, no, that's a bad idea. I was shooting our own people. Alright, I've been revived. Oh, I'm down. Yeah, wait. I'm about to revive. Stay down. Stay down. If I wanted it, you'd be dead already. Incoming frag! Down. Got him. Hey, check your range. Who went down? Me. Thank you. Oh. All right, <laughs> we got it. Yeah, I see you. 
Alright, I'm gonna use the shield again. We, we, uh, we might need that. Who went down? That canceled the kill. We're not done! Everyone get to the tarmac before Baird loses his ride home! <laughs> And them, them, uh, We're gonna clear this tarmac or Bear's not going anywhere! Come on down to Zerla! Whoop! Nope. You can't hold up. Shield is up. Oh, I got him kidding! I'm about to go down. Gotcha. Okay. Got him. That was very useful. Shield, the shield is actually on point. About 100%. Oh, there's one out! Yeah, I think uh, shield definitely gonna be using a lot of. Especially for the high intense situations like this. I think invisible, you can use more of that because invisible is fantastic. Is there anything else? Well, then watch out for the propellers because yeah. no one like gets a war at all. They'll mess around and kill us if we're getting too close. To the stage, Ooh, shit. Where are you? I'm down. Oh, you're way up. I'm there. like up ahead. Yeah. So it's GG's. Used. Oh, I should have. I should have told you to switch the stim real quick. Honestly, uh -oh. that would have saved me. I would say let's have stem on, stem on deck here just in case. I was actually gonna say uh, have stem on your side because I don't because what I have doesn't affect what you have, right? No, we share Jack. No, I'm saying, but our, our loadouts should be different, or are they the same? Oh, right on top of us. Uh, our loadouts are different, yeah, but like what Jack has, yeah, it'll is for it'll be an overall cooldown, a global cooldown. No, I'm saying that. The loadout you have for Jack is the loadout I have. Oh, okay. I didn't know they were uh, in here. Yeah, Alright, then um, do you want to do stem or shield for this? Uh, well, right now, shield. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to proc it right now. And then we'll swap it out. We'll swap shield out for stem once we get, get rid of this monstrosity. Alright, I'm gonna switch it to, uh, oh, actually, let me get covered first. I'm gonna switch it to stem. Stop it. Watch out, for grenades. Get back to my cover. Switch to my good old Markov. Everyone's walking in front of me. Looks like they want you to stay, 
ones in front of me. Secure. Now Bear can get that beacon out of here. Come on, we still have shit to do in this bloody desert. All right, Delta, back on the skiff. No, it's not what I meant to do. There we go. Why in the world would I want a flashbang when I can? Hey, I'll be back for you later, Gorgeous. Are you ready? You drop. Begin! So, are we back on task then? Let's hope so! Oh, hmm. Hmm. So I gotta go this way. Yeah, it's uh, to the northwest it looks like. Yeah, but there's no... There's gotta be a way around. Let me see. It actually almost looks like we're on a higher elevation. Like we need to get lower somehow? <laughs> Hold on, actually. There. Children, more bad news, I'm afraid. What is it now? My people, transporting the other beacons. I need you to get to them immediately. Their convoy was attacked. Where? Close. Their last message was sent from the old city. All right, we're on it. Man, the nomads cannot catch a break. <laughs> oh, shit. Well... I wonder how many people who, who played Bro, this through what the hell? realize that Dell's suggestion to bring this saved so much time. Imagine having to go out of this on a foot. Oh, fast. Bro, where, 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 where did, hold on, I need. It looks like you're going in the right direction. Yeah, but it's not popping up on my map. So you gotta go, let me see. So I put a waypoint up for me. I don't know if it'll show for you though. See that? Smoke up ahead. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's a convoy, all right. But we should be right here around this area. Yeah. We just gotta go down. Bingo. It's off to the left. Yep. All right. Let's get in there and see what we can do. This is a trap. Yeah. I don't see any movement. I don't see any bodies. I also don't see ammo, though. Okay, lots of ammo. Oh, there's the air. Okay, yep. Look! They're still fighting! We gotta help them! That, uh, do we have to help them? Two of the pouncers. Oh, shit. Guys! Okay. Oh, where are you? I'm not gonna ask you. Okay, do we still got stem? Uh, yeah, we, uh, I had a set. 
I'm back, bro. I'll say if we get... Damn, let's say if, if we get down, let's get against each other, just hit the stim. Hit the stim Yep. On my way. Bro, we've never had this kind of problem with counters before. God damn. Another one of those bloody things. Wait, another pop up or are you talking about the same? I don't know. Two different things. Both are problems. Oh, I mean there's a new one. These nomad skins one more time. Hey, give them a break. Delta, I'm heading out. I'll be in touch. All right, Baird. There's fly ammo around in here. You too, and good luck. Uh, now I just popped up on, on the clock. So, what's the plan now? The hangar. It's time to put that rocket together. Sounds good to me. What about Paddock's nomad? They have stuck their necks out for us. Maybe we'll own something for that. Sure. But if we don't get our rocket launched soon, it's not just Paddock's nomads we'll be worrying about. Oh, what about it? Did they move the skiff? They did. <laughs> 